What up, K-Mafia? I am back again with another YouTube video, y'all. And uh, thank you for coming back to my channel, you know what I mean? You fuck with me, which means I fuck with you. You are a goat. And listen, bro, this channel is going up. This number of high vibes over here. If you is not on high vibes and you don't really fuck with me, and you, you really just watch my channel to just a... Wish a wish a uh, like an evil eye upon me, bro. Just get the fuck off. Get the fuck off my channel. I do not need that energy at all. Now look, <clears throat> the people that are watching my channel that actually are tuned into this and like the knowledge I'm dropping, the gems. I need you to listen up. I need you to listen up because this video is for you. Like you were meant to see this video. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this video is for somebody. Look, you're a chosen one. You are a chosen one. You may have hints that you're the chosen one. You may see supernatural shit. You may hear supernatural shit. You may just see lots of crazy synchronicities on a daily. If you do, bro, you're not going crazy. You're actually in sync. You're actually like a chosen one. Like, you're meant to make a big mark on the world. And I need you all to really grasp a concept that a lot of people don't really know. Heaven and hell. It's about time I talk about this. Heaven and hell. You choose to live a personal heaven or hell. Your heaven or hell is your current reality that you are currently in. Your consciousness creates your reality. You are a co-creator. You are a physical manifestation of the source, okay? So you have these abilities. You are supernatural. You know, we have psychic powers, all that. So look, me and a person could be in the same car, but I could be living my heaven on earth and they could be living their hell on earth. Heaven and hell is just a perception of your inner reality. If you have inner peace and you're actually innerly like calm and you love yourself, you're gonna be projecting those exact energies. Vice versa, if it's negative, bro, you're gonna have your own personal hell. That's why everybody's life's differently. That's why everyone's perception of heaven and hell can be differently, and it's not the right because it's a fact. It's not it's not a it's not, it's not a fact, it's an opinion, I meant. But a lot of people it seems like a lot of us are trying to find out what the world is nowadays, who we are in the world, what's our mark, what we do. And it all solely really depends on how dedicated you are to really finding yourself because I could preach this knowledge all day and I know I'm dropping straight gems because these all help me. If you were a person like some, like some of y'all that like know me since I was like a youngin, you can see I changed. Some people told me I've changed. I haven't switched up, I'm not fake. I'm not putting on a, a mask for anybody. I'm not the same person. I'm saying I'm still the same person. I just grown. I didn't really change at all. I've just grown. And I found myself. I found who I actually am. I won't let nobody walk over me no more. I won't let nobody trick me. Lie to me. I'm not naive and all that shit no more. People used to take my kindness for a weakness, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like all the shit that's happening makes sense, man. Like it always and it always ends up like that, man. Like my relationship, my last relationship, that was toxic as hell. Like that relationship. I was so blinded by how badly the relationship, like the, the foundation, everything was all fucked up. And I was so stuck in a relationship. I don't know if I was so in love or I don't know what it was, but it kept me stuck in a loop. I, I just, I, and it, I feel like it was also part of me being codependent. I didn't have the strength and the willpower to stop, to leave something that's not longer serving me. That's not, I didn't have enough self-respect and self-love to, put myself first and drop this relationship it was even though it was it was literally hurting me and abusing me mentally mentally this relationship was abusing me so i was basically in an abusive relationship it just wasn't you know physical and i can't believe i let it get to this point but i know i would never let that shit happen to me ever again man but that was just my first rela actual relationship and that was my first person I've ever put all my love into. And I was just new to all this shit, you know? But it all was part of the plan. I had to deal with her and do all that so I can learn the lesson I know now. I know all this shit. I'm hip now. I'm not saying I know all this shit. I know all the shit I needed to know. I still don't know all this shit. I still am learning. And that's the thing. That's the cool thing about learning and growing and finding yourself. You're always learning new shit about yourself every single day, my nigga. You're, you, every day you're learning new shit. You're learning new shit every day. If you keep meditating and going thin... You will find answers like in your outside reality. When you go out in you know, your normal day, you will see shit. Some people say something to you or you hear something in a song like the universe connects with you in that way once you are really, really connected. Like when you really give a fuck what the universe is trying to say to you and you really care, bro, you will start seeing the universe will do supernatural shit to you, bro. 
people be thinking I be bro. I'm not talking bullshit on this channel, bro. Like everything I'm like, I've literally changed. I wish I like you. I've changed my life, bro. You you can go to the very first video on my channel and then go to this video. You can see it's the total difference in my demeanor, the way I speak, and even where I live. Manifestation. That shit is beyond real. For people that don't even believe in it, I'm gonna clear that up now. It's real. This is coming from a person that didn't even know what any of this shit was. I didn't believe in any of this shit until I actually stumbled upon it and then all my shit is coming true, bro. Like, all my manifestations are coming true. I just got my first car at 17 years old. I just bought my first car a couple of days ago, bro. I manifested my first car. I manifested my car, you know what I mean? Um, my, my, I manifested this, you know, this home, bro. Like, we are all constantly manifesting things we want. And if you, sp if wherever you, wherever your focus goes, energy flows, bro. So if you constantly think about something every day, like I want this, I want this, or I got, or, you know, instead of placing the want with, I got, I got this, I have this, you were gonna get on the vibration of it. I'm trying to tell you, like, if you want this car, if you want this person, you have to put yourself on the vibration that you already have it. And it's going to come and you gotta believe that it's coming. It's that it, it, that's what's one secret thing about the manifestation part that a lot of people lack. They think that they really have faith, but do you really have? You have to know that that shit coming, bro. You gotta know it's coming, and it will. And everybody's different, you know. Everyone's manifestations are power. Everybody's manifestation powers are different, you know. Depending on how high your vibe is, depends on how good you can manifest. And honestly, bro, you're able to manifest whatever the hell you want. I am living proof. I am the proof you need. If you need a proof or any sign, this is the sign, this is the proof. Manifestation is real. You can get whatever you want right now. I am living proof that you can have whatever you want. And I, I'm, I'm saying it right now in this video. I'm going to blow up on YouTube. I'm going to be successful because why? I, I, I deserved it and I'm manifesting it. And I know what's going to happen. So it's going to happen. You feel me? Like, it's just, it's crazy. Cause bro, this is your game. Everyone's, a, everyone's just a, a, a bot. Uh, everyone's just like a... Everyone's a character in your movie and you are, you can connect with these people or you can choose not to connect with these people. And everybody's just a, you know what I mean? A third dimensional vessel for you to interact with to make this human experience more human. You need to remember you're a spiritual being having a human experience, not the other way around, my nigga. So you need to start trying to adapt back to the ways that you were naturally put here for. A lot of us don't know. We were literally came, we were, we, we were came here to learn how to manipulate energy. That's why we are here, to learn how to manipulate energy, create, manifest. You were, you were made to manifest, bro. You came here to manifest. You, you're, you're supposed to co-create spelling. Our words cast spells. What you say will come into your reality. Like, people will be just like, they'll still say, yeah, I understand it, but they still don't take it to, to their advantage, bro. Like, this shit is, this is, this is free sauce, bro. I have never in my life been so financially free and had as much peace and love. And life is like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Life has been feeling like a movie. Life ain't been feeling real, my nigga. Like shit just been happening where it's just like, man, it's good. It feels good. But like, I, I'm so, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, bro. My whole life, I was so used to shit not going right. I'm so used to, I was so used to shit like going wrong when I was suspected it to that. Like whenever I, when I started really like, when I stepped into this new me, this new energy and I started adapting to this hyperbational energy, I've been getting all the shit that I want. And I, 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 I'm I, not in that mindset no more, but it took me a minute to adapt to the, I deserve this. I'm attracting this mindset. Not the, you know, what, what, what's bad been happening? You know, all right, well, is this too good to be true? You know what I mean? Like, I don't deserve it. I just started realizing I deserve everything that's coming to me because I fought for this moment. I've been through a lot of hardship that's made me who the fuck I am. I, 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 I had to endure that pain because I'm a strong soldier. I'm a strong spiritual soldier in the spiritual realm, nigga. I am meant to endure a lot of pain because my 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 uh what do you call it my uh what i meant to do what i was put here to do my purpose my purpose on this planet is big it's strong and i need to have that most emotional mental and spiritual capacity and strength to endure anything it's crazy and it's amazing man i just need y'all to really realize but like I'm not the only one who can do this, which is crazy because we all are humans. And it's especially if you are black. I'm not I, I'm not uh, degrading you white people at all. I'm just saying, especially if you have melanin in your skin, you have a very, very higher, higher chance of being even more spiritual and um, manifestation powers are on 10. I'm telling you, bro, tap into your energies now. Tap into your shit now. This is a sign, my nigga, like, 
This is a sign that you need to tap into yourself. It's time to tap into your own energy. You need to find out who you really are. I'm telling the only reason why I'm preaching this here because this is shit that I've I've had questions about and I've I've been my point has been proven. My point has been proven. Once you step into your natural power, once you step into who you actually are and you find yourself, there's no going back. There is no going back. And the crazy thing is, I remember when somebody was doing this exact thing to me. I'm watching the video and they're telling me this on the beginning of my spiritual journey last year. Once you awaken, there's no going back. Once I got this motivate my nigga, bro, and I started really getting into spirituality, my life has never been the same. I don't think the same. I don't look at people the same. I don't do the same shit I used to do when I was stuck in this third dimension. A lot of shit is played out. It's okay to, you know, balance. It's good to have balance, all right? Yeah, smoke, drink here and there, have sex, you know what I mean? That's fine. But I've really learned how to just have a balance to a lot of shit I do. Because you gotta realize that all this shit that's put here was meant to, yeah, enhance our spirit, our, I mean, our human experience. But at the same time, a lot of us really overindulge in a lot of it and let it take us, take over us. A lot of us have let a third, something outside of us take control of us. You are not thinking for yourself at this point. You are not, you know what I mean? You, the drug is thinking for you. That vice is thinking for you. You know, that drink is. All I can say is easier said than done. Go within, do the work, meditate, say your affirmation every morning. Go outside and get a little bit of the sun or nature. Put your feet in the grass. Stop being bougie. Put your feet in the fucking grass. And just breathe in the air, bro. Like, every day, do it. It don't take no more than 10 minutes to go outside with your feet in the grass. Breathe in some air. You know what I mean? It takes no more than 10 minutes. You can even meditate for five minutes. Go meditate in the morning or in the afternoon whenever you feel like you, you can. Meditate. Try to get some meditation. Get a little workout in if you can, maybe. Break some sweat. I'm telling you, bro, the little things matter. These will all add up. Doing this shit for like a month, you'll see bigger progress. And you'll do it for even longer, you'll see major progress. Consistency is key, man. Consistency, like with anything like bro i'm trying to tell you like i'm just trying to give y'all as much knowledge as i can because like i've been picking up on so many new tips and tricks and for life bro and i just want to drop them to y'all i feel like this is what i was put here for to really get people hip that are lost in the sauce like what do you what do we do next step into your power find who you really are dig into yourself like you need to do that shadow work stop avoiding that stop avoiding the shadow work you feel that way for a reason you know what I mean? You keep slipping into that bad habit for a reason because that's a spot that you haven't healed yet. That means you need to heal that part of yourself. Affirmations. I had addictions. I had confidence issues. Affirmations. I listen to them bitches for like a month every day. Like, nigga, I'm, not, I'm a whole different person. Like, it, it's crazy how it works, bro, but it works. People, and if you don't want the people that make memes out of crystals that think crystals are just fake and don't work, nigga, you're a clown. You are a clown. They work. I'm proof that I'm not I'm not lying. I don't get paid for this shit. They work. Why? They're tools to help us with this human experience. We're spiritual beings having human experience. That's why it works. Crystals have energy. They hold high vibrational energy. Every crystal is different. And you can use them to your benefit. They're tools to help you on your spiritual journey. That's all they are. This is what's keeping my vibe high. This is what's keeping me confident and keeping my spiritual journey going. This is this is what's this is what's enhancing my spiritual journey a lot. Moldavite is def definitely enhances your spiritual journey a lot. Makes your pineal gland open, all that shit. Like, my psychic abilities have been on 10. I be saying shit in my head before people actually say it. I see shit before it actually happens. I hear this ringing in my ear from like, every now and then, which is the high vibrational energy, you know, high vibrational entities around me, you know, because I'm shifting to a higher dimension every every day. So it's all just there. And I'm just telling you, I'm here. I'm proof. I'm living proof. I'm living proof that this shit works. And if you really know me and you see how much I've changed, you know this shit works. You know what I mean? You know this shit works. If you want to be a rapper, you can be a rapper. You just got to be able to manifest that shit. You got to know you're going to become it. Bro, there's so many like famous people that have already dropped these gems. Logan Paul just dropped some gems about how he manifested to be up there with Logan Paul. I mean, be up there with uh, Floyd Mayweather. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. He manifested that fight with Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather. He said, that you guys got to think about it. I'm a YouTuber up here with the, the biggest boxer in the world. Come on now. This is all an illusion. Like, yes, this is all an illusion. This is all a game. You are creating all this reality. Your mind has came together to construct this, whatever is in front of you, to the best of your ability. Like, we all see the same thing, but we don't see the same thing. You know, we all are spiritual beings having a human experience. Everything is energy. You know what I mean? Energy can't be destroyed, only transferred. So 
what you say, what you do is going to eventually come back or it's going to, you know what I mean? Law of cause and effect, you know, uh, karma, you know, it's, that's all real. That's all real. People that don't, I'm just dropping all the gems. Karma's real. All that shit's real, man. You probably realized it. You do one little thing and karma just come back in the snap of a finger. Another thing with karma, there's some people that are highly, highly protected in the spiritual realm that a lot of people don't be knowing to be doing them dirty. Watch who you do dirty. If you people that, if you have to do motherfuckers dirty, rob them, whatever, just make sure you know who to... Some people are just highly protected in the spiritual realm. The more pure and high vibrational, are, high vibrational they are, the more protected they are in the spiritual realm. Like babies and kids... How they are so protected, you know what I mean? By like angels, how it's like, you ever seen like baby videos, like how babies are nearly died or just have these random occurrences where they get saved? Like they just protect it, you know? They're protected by angels and dogs to consist the innocence on them. When you, when you start getting into spirituality and you start finding yourself, you will step back into this energy. And I've noticed I stepped back into this energy. Like I'm back to how I was when I was a little kid. I have this childlike essence within me. Like my, my childlike spirit is back. Like I have that personality where I'm laughing, I'm giggling, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm outside, put my feet in the grass again. You know, I'm walking barefoot again outside. I'm, uh, I'm just happy. I'm more uh, energetic. I'm grateful more. I'm more grateful for the things that I have. I'm, uh, you know what I mean? I'm it's just a lot of things that just that come with you doing the work and finding your inner, your inner child, healing your inner child. You know, the trauma you had in childhood and all that. You got to heal those things. You got to just come to the come to terms with them and grow from it. You know what I mean? Don't do, don't ever use your problems in your past as a uh, excuse to why you can't grow or do better those are whenever i've really programmed my mind to whenever i see challenges or i see something that's like a, a hindrance i just look at it as a chance to grow another chance to learn and grow because that's all hindrances are ever ever were one thing i've realized of one that i've learned on this journey that all the hardships i've been through all the problems i've been through they've all taught me something they've all really like made me stronger and taught me something i'm just like bro i guess there's always a good you always get a good out of everything like some good happens to you get into the goodness and the and the joy and the appreciation and learning how to be grateful something bad happens to you learning not to, what not to do next time and how to get over that and how to counter that you know what i mean you're learning that and now you're strong now you got down to your belt another skill under your belt you feel me it's like it all goes hand in hand. And I, I just want everybody to be hit. I want everybody to be hit. You know, how you can really become the best version of yourself. How you can really create and have whatever the fuck you want. If you believe in yourself and you really use your fucking brain. Because you don't. I don't think a lot of us really realize how powerful you really are. And school does not dictate how smart you are, my nigga. School is school. They test you. They give you tests. They test you on your your academic everybody's academic abilities are everybody everybody learns differently basically so that's school is just stupid the way they school is stupid it's really all about how much you really know once you really find look at this girl once you really find out who you are and you find out about yourself bro people's opinions will stop mattering people if people say and think about you don't fucking matter because you know they're gonna think about you anyway so it don't matter you're gonna start realizing that you're creating your own reality that you know life is basically a movie so you stop you start taking a lot of shit seriously and life just becomes fun you know you ever heard that quote like you know the truth sets you free yeah the truth definitely set me free i live life on the edge now baby i live life like you know if i knew i was gonna die tomorrow would i do this type of shit i ask myself that every time live life the way you want to live be happy because you never know tomorrow is definitely not promised bro it's definitely not but I'm just rumbling off my damn head. I know some of y'all might click off this video. I just need to get that message out to whoever's seen this message. I know you I know you resonated. It, I know you felt this message. And if you have resonated with this video and it, you definitely felt it, please drop the comment down. I want to really interact with more of y'all. Like, if y'all really fuck with me, I want to interact with y'all. Let me know if this video resonated. Let me know if you picked up anything from this video, okay? I really fuck with you if you really rock with me. That's that's just how I rock. That's how I am. I'm, I'm a genuine ass person. You can ask some people, close people to me. I do not do that fake shit. I don't got time for that fake shit. We raising our vibes. We going up over here, baby. I really appreciate. I really appreciate you came off here. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn the post notification. I'm a another banger video, and I'm on this video game. Peace.